Prince Harry's memoir, titled Spare, is widely believed to refer to the phrase heir and a spare, which has led many to speculate he will explore his feelings of isolation and rejection in the book. However, columnist Elaine Louis, a Canadian TV personality who has worked with Meghan's friend Ben Mulroney and is also close to Meghan's best friend, the Soho House executive Marcus Anderson, has suggested the title has another meaning. She said, it is actually a really kind verb. It involves effort. When you spare time or money or thought for someone, you're making an effort and more often than not it's a helpful effort. In some cases, to spare is also to save. You can spare someone the trouble of having to do something that isn't pleasant, something potentially harmful. Spare and save are interchangeable in that context. There can also be benevolence associated with sparing someone. I didn't want to ask her about that because I wanted to spare her feelings. And all of those ideas also apply to Prince Harry, given his personal evolution and the mission he and Meghan Markle have set for themselves and their work. Meghan Ally warns of Harry's bombshell spare memoir's double meaning, image, Getty, trending key events inevitable Prince Harry and William's relationship will change after the Crown release 847 two days ago 704 Sebastian Murphy Bates this live blog has now closed. This live blog has now closed. Two days ago, 459 Isabella Marson's Crown Princess Mary and Crown Prince Frederick stunned royal fans on final day of Vietnam tour. The jam packed two day tour saw the royal couple take in the sights of Southeast Asia and attend a number of engagements. Denmark's Crown Princess Mary and her husband, Crown Prince Frederick, concluded their tour of Vietnam on Thursday. The goal of the visit was to strengthen business relations between Denmark and Vietnam. The pair spent a portion of their first day in Vietnam in Hanoi and conducted a somber visit to Ho Chi Minh's mausoleum. Two days ago, 221 Isabella Marson's Prince William excites royal fans as he opens up on USA trip with Kate. The Prince of Wales sent royal fans into a frenzy after his official Twitter account, at Kensington Royal, released a new video related to the Earthshot Prize. The brief clip featured Prince William walking in a garden while using his mobile phone. The video then shows what the royal is doing with his phone, adding to a text messaging chat group the newly announced 15 finalists of the upcoming Earthshot Prize 2022. The Prince of Wales then shares in the fictitious chat a video of himself congratulating the nominees on having their projects chosen among thousands of other submissions. Two days ago 02 Isabella Marson's King Charles plants lime tree in heartwarming tribute to the late Queen Elizabeth His Majesty hosted a reception at Buckingham Palace on Friday welcoming politicians, businesspeople, NGO representatives and environmentalists to mark the end of the UK's presidency of COP26. King Charles has placed his beloved mother at the heart of the most important international events of his reign so far. As the reception marking the ending of the British presidency of COP26 concluded at Buckingham Palace, the monarch stepped into the palace gardens to plant a tree. The tree was not only symbolic given the nature of the occasion and the king's keen interest in environmentalism, but was part of the queen's green canopy. The canopy was established last year to mark the Platinum Jubilee and has seen millions planting a tree to mark the 70-year reign of Elizabeth II. Following the death of the Queen it was decided to continue the project to allow people to plant trees in her memory. The King planted a lime tree directly behind a palace building where he was born back in 1948. Two days ago 2152 Alice Higgum William excites royal fans with update on US trip The Prince of Wales has excited royal fans after he released a new video related to the Earthshot Prize. The short clip, posted to his official Twitter account, at Kensington Royal, featured Prince William walking in a garden while using his mobile phone. 
The video then shows what the royal is doing with his phone, adding to a text messaging chat group the newly announced 15 finalists of the upcoming Earthshot Prize 2022, which he will attend in Boston in December with his wife, Kate Middleton. Read more three days ago 2127 Alice Higgum's fair could be about Meghan taking center stage since UK exit Jonathan Sacerdoti hinted that the title of the upcoming memoir could be in response to being a bit part player in the Meghan show since the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down as senior royals. Mr. Sacerdoti told Express.co.uk, I personally think it's a clever title for the publishers and a sad title for him to have chosen. There will be those who look at that title and wonder if it also describes how he feels in relation to his current relationships going forward outside of the UK. Read more three days ago 2103 Alice Higgum Where are the Sussexes in the line of succession? Despite Prince Harry's decision to step down as a senior member of the royal family, should none of the Waleses become king or queen, the Duke of Sussex is now fifth in the line of succession. The Duke of Sussex formally stepped away from his royal duties in 2020 and has since made a home for himself and his wife, Meghan Markle, in California with their children Archie Harrison Mountbatten-Windsor and Lilibet Diana Mountbatten-Windsor. Three days ago, 2036 Alice Higgum experts expose hole in Sussex claim speaking on her Spotify podcast series, Archetypes, Meghan Markle claimed that Lilibet had started walking. However, on a recent episode of Royally Us, hosts Christine Ross and Christina Garibaldi noticed that a few months prior to the Duchess of Sussex comment, Prince Harry had already mentioned that Lilibet had already reached the developmental milestone, leading them to point this out as another one of these little holes. Read more three days ago 2015 Alice Higgum opinion, Prince Harry's story will have a truly bleak ending Angela Epstein has written for Express. Co.uk, Prince Harry, is of course, a little old to be subjected to a curfew by his despairing father. Anyway, given the price exacted from Netflix for his pound of royal flesh, I doubt the Duke of Sussex needs dad's help paying for his iPhone. So, what's left in terms of leverage for his increasingly weary papa? Read more three days ago 1945 Alice Higgum former butler slams Harry and Meghan a former royal butler has slammed the couple for pursuing legal battles saying royalty used to mean something quite different. Speaking on behalf of OnlineCasino.ca, Grant Harold said, The only thing that sometimes confuses me is you see historically kings and queens did not ever get involved in legal battles or suing but there's been a lot of that going on, obviously with Harry and Meghan and the Prince and Princess of Wales. I think the Queen only ever twice did that but it's becoming more regular and that's sadly the world we live in. They want to protect the name and the brand but I get that, I really do, it's just royalty used to mean something quite different. Read more three days ago 1843 Alice Higgum Harry warned relationship with father hard to salvage Emily Andrews told the Jeremy Vine show that the king will be devastated by his son's memoir and could put the father-son relationship beyond repair. Discussing the upcoming book, Ms. Andrews said, The Queen has just died, we have a new king. He hasn't even been crowned yet. Harry's book is going to be out in the year of Charles' coronation next May. Read more three days ago 1820 Alice Higgum Prince William keeping people at arm's length Royal editor Rebecca English has suggested the Prince of Wales has approached his new responsibilities quite differently compared to other members of the firm. She said, the Prince and Princess of Wales are quite different on royal engagements. They keep people at quite an arm's length. Ms English said, Prince William's decision to think more laterally across his royal roles was rather impressive. Read more three days ago 1755 Alice Higgum When did Meghan and Harry quit the royal family? The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down as senior royals in March 2020 a move dubbed, makes it. Following the move, they were stripped of their royal patronages and honorary military titles. 
the couple relocated across the pond to Montecito in Santa Barbara where they now live with their two children Archie, three and Lilibet, who turns one next month. Since leaving the UK the couple has not stepped away from the spotlight, most famously taking part in a controversial interview with Oprah Winfrey in March 2021. Image, Getty, three days ago 1736 Alice Higgum Omid Scobby defends Prince Harry's memoir Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's unofficial biographer has defended the choice of title for the Duke of Sussex highly anticipated memoir, claiming the US-based royal was a scapegoat within the royal family. Mr. Scobby said, a spare also carries a purpose rarely acknowledged by any royal or palace official, the resident scapegoat to protect the crown and higher-ranking family members. Read more three days ago 1706 Alice Higgum Kate and William have fully embraced senior positions body language Darren Stanton has said the Prince and Princess of Wales have shown they are fully embracing their elevated status as senior royals on their trip to Scarborough this week. He said, analyzing the latest photographs of Prince William and Kate in Scarborough, it's clear the family break has done them the world of good. They appear very energetic and fully recuperated to take on their royal duties. In one of the photos from the visit, the two are completely mirroring each other's posture, with one hand by their side and the other across the chest. This shows they are in complete synchronization with each other, both smiling and looking into each other's eyes. While it's clear the couple have a great rapport, there is no need for them to always be at each other's sides. The fact that the pair are able to walk alone shows they are both very comfortable in their own skin and have now fully embraced their positions as senior members of the royal family. Three days ago 1647 Alice Higgum Harry's memoir torn apart, almost drowned in his own self-pity. On Friday's episode of Have I Got News For You, the panel took a look at recent affairs including the first look at Prince Harry's upcoming memoir, Spare. The book was torn apart by guest host Steph McGovern who slammed its contents. Three days ago 1631 Alice Higgum Sunak joins King Charles for reception at Buckingham Palace King Charles III has hosted a reception at Buckingham Palace regarding climate change and growth since COP26, just days before COP27 in Egypt. The reception was held a few days after Mr. Sunak announced he would attend the summit in person, despite Note 10 previously saying he would skip it as he was focused on the domestic agenda. Buckingham Palace has confirmed the King will not attend COP27. Read more three days ago 1609 Alice Higgum Meghan speaks about stepping out of mold as wife and mother the Duchess of Sussex tackled the expectations faced by women who are mothers and partners in her latest episode of Archetypes, her Spotify podcast series. Meghan said, in this episode, we are digging into the roles that women play of wives, mums, caretakers, and really thinking about how do we break out the limiting versions that society has carved out for us and settle into the layered, complex and fullest versions of our own truths. How can we shift the roles that we play, the expectations that we set, for ourselves and for each others? Read more three days ago 1542 Alice Higgum poll, should Prince Harry scrap his memoir? Prince Harry's publisher, Penguin Random House, revealed details of the Duke of Sussex's memoir last week after it announced that the 416-page memoir would be titled Spare and Detail with Raw Unflinching Honesty His Journey from Trauma to Healing. But after considerable backlash from some royal watchers and fans, do you think the tell-all tale should be scrapped? Vote now three days ago 1521 Alice Higgum will Meghan and Harry return to UK for King Charles III's coronation? There is a lot of speculation about the possibility of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle returning for King Charles III coronation next May. It has not yet been confirmed who will attend the significant event but reports suggest the Duke and Duchess of Sussex could return to the UK with their children Archie and Lilibet. 
Since leaving the UK Prince Harry has returned on a number of occasions, most recently the couple spent time in the UK to mourn the death of his grandmother Queen Elizabeth II. Three days ago 1448 Alice Higgum Meghan and Harry worried over titles author Tom Bauer has claims the King has made various threats to Meghan and Harry, warning they will find themselves ostracized if significant damage is done to the firm. Mr. Bauer told The Mirror, he has made various threats to Meghan and Harry and warned that them if they go ahead they will find themselves ostracized in a way they cannot believe. And so they are worried. First of all, I do not think their children will get titles if they go ahead and slander the royal family. Read more. Image, Getty, three days ago, 1428 Alice Higgum Express Royal Roundup, watch now this week's Royal Roundup with Pandora Forsyth and Richard Palmer is now live, dissecting all the latest news from the royal family. Watch here three days ago, 1402 Alice Higgum Good Afternoon Good Afternoon from London. I'm Alice Higgum, I'll be bringing you all the latest developments on the royal family this afternoon. Please feel free to get in touch with me as I work if you have a story or tips to share. Your thoughts are always welcome. Email, alice.higgum at reachplc.com Three days ago 1347 Terra Fair will Meghan and Harry return to the UK for King Charles coronation? There is a lot of speculation about the possibility of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle returning for King Charles III coronation next May. It has not yet been confirmed who will attend the significant event, but reports suggest the Duke and Duchess of Sussex could return to the UK with their children Archie and Lilibet. Since leaving the UK Prince Harry has returned on a number of occasions, most recently the couple spent time in the UK to mourn the death of his grandmother Queen Elizabeth II. Three days ago 1331 Terra Fair King Charles told Dominic West to do what you like over his portrayal in The Crown King Charles III appeared relaxed when Dominic West told him he would be playing him in the upcoming fifth series of The Crown, according to the actor. Mr. West received a letter from the King's private secretary after he contacted the palace offering to resign from his role as ambassador for the Prince's Trust due to his casting. However, he told Radio Times that the King responded along the lines of, you do what you like, you're an actor. It's nothing to do with us. He also refused to accept the actor's resignation from his charitable role, reported the Daily Mail. Read more three days ago 1315 Terra Fair Prince Harry's high-risk strategy contacting ex-girlfriends The Duke of Sussex is reportedly contacting his ex-girlfriends to share their memories in his book. Journalist Robert Crampton branded the move a high-risk strategy. Writing in The Times, he added, his mates, plus old flames Chelsea Davy and Cressida Bonas, have been souls of discretion thus far. But once they start talking, they might get a taste for it, especially when and if one of them falls on hard times. Scandal has a habit of emerging eventually into the light. Prince Harry's former flames include on-off girlfriends Chelsea Davy and Cressida Bonas. Prince Harry's high-risk strategy contacting ex-girlfriend, image, Getty, three days ago 1249 Terra Fair Meghan and Harry very worried as King Charles prepared to strip them of Sussex titles Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are very worried about King Charles III stripping them of their Sussex title if they misbehave, according to royal author Tom Bauer. Mr. Bauer, whose sources include courtiers and associates of the royal family, claims the king has made various threats to Meghan and Harry, warning they will find themselves ostracized if significant damage is done to the firm. Mr. Bauer, author of Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors, also believes the king could extend the royal title ban to Archie, 3, and Lilibet, 1. Mr. Bauer told The Mirror, he has made various threats to Meghan and Harry and warned that them if they go ahead they will find themselves ostracized in a way they cannot believe. And so they are worried. First of all, I do not think their children will get titles if they go ahead and slander the royal family.
but they have also got to consider their own titles, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, could be taken away by Charles if they misbehave. That is something Meghan and Harry are very worried about because after all although she pours dirt on the royal family the whole time, whenever she introduces herself she says, I am Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. Read more Meghan and Harry very worried as King Charles prepared to strip them of Sussex titles, image, Getty, three days ago 1230 Terra Fair don't know how to come back from that, ex-royal butler opens up on William Harry Feud Grant Harold, who used to work for the royal family, said he doesn't see how William and Harry will come back together after their feud. Speaking on behalf of OnlineCasino.ca he said, It was only when the statements came out I remember sitting there thinking, what the hell is going on, because these were two guys that were close, they were best pals. So I find it sad that two guys who were literally best friends suddenly went through this fallout. With families, I don't know how you come back from something like that happening. It's possible but with fallouts, it can be really difficult to patch it up. The former butler continued, they may not be working members of the royal family but I have no doubt he sees them as part of the family, that's a fact. Read more don't know how to come back from that, ex-royal butler opens up on William Harry Few, image, Getty, three days ago, 1215 Tara Farrelligan, Kate has developed in confidence, after becoming, self-assured, Kate, Princess of Wales, has grown in confidence in recent months, according to body language expert Darren Stanton, speaking on behalf of Slingo. Commenting on Kate's recent visit to Scarborough, he said, Kate seems even more comfortable and relaxed than ever before. She no longer uses pacifying gestures, which are self-reassurance gestures she often used during her early years as a royal, such as touching her earlobe and rubbing her neck. We rarely see those gestures in Kate's behavior now compared to 10 years ago. This signifies she has clearly developed confidence in who she is and what she is there to do. Her decision to wear a neutral toned outfit also shows Kate is conscious not to be the center of attention, while still keeping elegant. Elegant Kate has developed in confidence, after becoming, self-assured, image, Getty, three days ago 1121 Terra Fair Royal Family step back from Mike Tyndall talk as ex-rugby player prepares for IMA celeb Mike Tyndall headed down under last week as he prepares to appear on ITV's IMA Celebrity on November 6. He told ITV, first and foremost, I will miss my family. I will miss my bed too and a nice breakfast. However, a report has claimed the royal family has been tight-lipped on Mr. Tyndall's appearance. The Telegraph revealed Buckingham Palace did not deny that Mr. Tynall sought advice before entering the jungle. But aides in the firm refused to be drawn on whether he had sought permission to take part or whether specific topics were off-limits. Read more three days ago 1031 Terra Fair William and Kate are more popular than ever before Prince William and Kate, Princess of Wales, are more popular than ever before, according to a body language expert. Speaking on behalf of Slingo, expert Darren Stanton revealed how the couple are adapting to their new roles. He said, there is a great shot of Kate having a moment of laughter with a member of the public whilst the woman in the photo was smiling. The same woman also was seen talking to William and holding his hand. It's clear that William and Kate intend to be a very different king and queen as they are moving amongst the public and being as accessible as possible. Giving their time to the public also shows that the pair care about their fans, which has made them more popular than ever before. There are several very tight shots taken of both William and Kate where they are displaying genuine expressions of joy and happiness. This is denoted by the crow's feet at the side of their eyes, which are fully engaged and bright.
William and Kate are more popular than ever before image Getty Prince William greets onlookers in Scarborough image Getty three days ago 1009 Terra Fair Prince William's pleas ignored by the crown as infamous Bashir interview to air on Netflix Prince William's hopes that his late mother's notorious 1995 BBC interview will never be shown again have been dashed by Netflix with the streaming platform set to feature Princess Diana's encounter with Martin Bashir in next week's release of the crown a according to new reports. The new Prince of Wales, 40, had expressed his opposition to the streaming service recreating the interview, which he said last year, contributed significantly to her fear, paranoia and isolation, in Princess Diana's final years. But the streaming giant will include two episodes which look at the build-up to, and the events in the wake of, the 1995 interview, according to new reports. The hour-long interview will be represented in the Netflix series for 4 minutes and 23 seconds, and will include the most recognizable sound bites from the interview, The Sun reported. Read more Prince William's pleas ignored by The Crown as infamous Bashir interview to air on Netflix, Image, Getty, 3 days ago 9.43 Terra Fair Comfortable, William and Kate are fully recuperated, after family break Prince William and Kate Middleton are fully recuperated after their family break, according to a body language expert. Speaking on behalf of Slingo, Darren Stanton said, analyzing the latest photographs of Prince William and Kate in Scarborough, it's clear the family break has done them the world of good. They appear very energetic and fully recuperated to take on their royal duties. In one of the photos from the visit, the two are completely mirroring each other's posture, with one hand by their side and the other across the chest. This shows they are in complete synchronization with each other, both smiling and looking into each other's eyes. While it's clear the couple have a great rapport, there is no need for them to always be at each other's sides. The fact that the pair are able to walk alone shows they are both very comfortable in their own skin and have now fully embraced their positions as senior members of the royal family. Comfortable, William and Kate are fully recuperated, after family break, image, Getty, three days ago 926 Terra Fair Meghan Markle opens up on quirks she shares with her, mommy, Doria Ragland Meghan Markle has opened up on quirks she shares with her mother Doria Ragland, during the latest episode of her podcast, Archetypes. During the podcast, Meghan speaks to her mother via video call, and at the end of the call, Ms. Ragland makes a clicking sound before hanging up. Explaining the sound, Megan said, My mom, she did this thing I do. You may have heard this clicking sound that she was doing. Laughing, she continued, All right, gang, my mom literally just pulled out a reference of what I came up with as a cool handshake to do with her when I was about eight, which was snap scissors, cut chicken. I am 41 years old. And she's like, Okay. It's great, and it just put me right back into the past thinking about my childhood and our little quirks together. Read more Meghan Markle opens up on quirks she shares with her, mommy, Doria Ragland, image, Getty, three days ago 905, Terra Fair BBC uninclined to promote Harry's new book in hopes of coronation coverage the BBC will not invite Harry on to any of their shows to promote his memoir as they are hoping to get exclusive rights to King Charles' coronation, it has been claimed. Speaking on his YouTube channel, royal expert Neil Sean said that the BBC are likely to keep Harry at a distance until the coronation. However, discussing which TV channels might interview the prince, he said, you have a lesser known channel like ITV. You could look at Sky News. Read more BBC uninclined to promote Harry's new book in hopes of coronation coverage, image, Getty, three days ago 847 Terra Fair inevitable Prince Harry and William's relationship will change after the Crown release the upcoming series of The Crown is set to focus on the breakdown of Prince Charles and Princess Diana's relationship, a topic which will inevitably affect Prince William and Prince Harry's relationship, according to a royal commentator. 
Royal commentator Jonathan Sacerdoti told Express.co.uk, The Crown will touch much more on their life and the things that affected them, so I think it's inevitable there will be an increased interest in their lives and their history. It could make them feel closer, or it could make them feel less close. He added, I think that any resurgence of interests in their childhood stories and the difficulties and tragedies that were part of it will definitely be the sort of thing that can make their relationship change. Neither Prince William nor Harry have commented on the show's depiction of their mother and father but Mr. Sacerdoti believes Harry will respond in his own way in the form of his docuseries with the streaming giant. He said, Harry obviously feels very bitter about how his life story has been told so given that is the case they maybe feel their approach of having their own story is enough of a response to fiction about that and they maybe feel that's their way of setting the story straight. Read more inevitable Prince Harry and William's relationship will change after the crown release image, Getty, three days ago a 34 Terra Fair Mike Tyndall's I Am A Celebrity Stin, Want Impact Firm Mike Tyndall's appearance on I Am A Celebrity Want Impact The Royal Family, it has been claimed. Discussing how the England rugby champion's decision to participate in the demanding show could affect the firm, Sele Adnis, a US-based marketing professor and co-author of the book Royal Fever, The British Monarchy in Consumer Culture, told Express. Co.uk, I don't think it will have much impact on the royal brand, as Princess Anne's children have no titles and aren't working royals. Buckingham Palace has remained tight-lipped on Mike's reality show stint, with a spokesman simply pointing out to The Telegraph that Zara's husband is not a working member of the royal family. Read more Mike and Zara Tyndall, image, Getty, three days ago a 10 Terra Fair Meghan Markle describes crushing guilt of expectations as mum and wife in public eye Meghan Markle has discussed the crushing guilt of being a mother in the public eye, during the latest episode of her podcast, Archetypes. Introducing the Canadian First Lady, Sophie Trudeau, who was a guest on this week's podcast, Meghan said, she knows what it feels like to be a mum and a partner and specifically a mom and a partner in the public eye, and also how crushing the guilt of expectations can become. Ms. Trudeau then said, the guilt that we feel as mothers or as women in general is self-imposed. I think we've learned to self-impose it. We're not born with it. A little girl is not born feeling guilty for being a girl. We learn it. And that's completely unacceptable. So I think that when I started becoming, you know, an older girl and in an early adult stage, I realized that we often define freedom as a way to be free from the world. But it's really a way to be free in the world. Read more Meghan Markle describes crushing guilt of expectations as mum and wife in public eye. Image, Getty, three days ago 757 Tara Fair Meghan admits struggling with UK citizenship test and asking Harry for help. Meghan Markle has stated that she found the UK citizenship really hard and has admitted that she asked Prince Harry for help. Speaking on the latest episode of her podcast, Meghan said, that citizenship exam is so hard. I was studying for it and I remember going, oh my goodness, I would ask my husband, did you know this? Did you know this? And he'd be like, oh, I had no idea. Guest Pamela Alden chimed in, I think they made it harder for you. To which Megan said, you think? And Pamela joked, yeah, they were like, we're gonna really throw up walls on this one. Read more Meghan admits struggling with UK citizenship test and asking Harry for help. Image, Getty, three days ago 737 Terra Fair Good Morning Good Morning from London. I'm Terra Fair, I'll be bringing you all the latest developments on the royal family. Please feel free to get in touch with me as I work if you have a story or tips to share. Your thoughts are always welcome. Email. Terra.fair at reachplc.com